All right guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Shane Nyquist, and I'm gonna be working on an electric motorcycle build. I got a new shop to work in. If you've seen my channel previously, I was working in a, an old barn in Morgan Hill, but I moved up, I got a three car garage. I'm gonna set this thing up and start building some tools. I'm gonna build some tools for this new project that I come down the pipeline. I wanna build an electric motorcycle, something clean, classy, small, tight, better nice. Super excited about it. I'm gonna start off by building the frame jig for all this stuff. So let's get to it. So for everyone that's not into motorcycle building, typically if you're going to build a motorcycle, you start with pre-existing parts. I'm going to start from scratch. I'm going to build a frame, and mostly because most of the stuff on the market is all for gas engines, and electric motorcycles have different components, different kind of layouts. So I'm going to go into CAD. I'm going to kind of design my, my general layout, and then I'm going to build a frame jig. The jig is meant to hold everything straight, and that way I can get all my components placed, all my tabs in certain spots, and I can be assured that the head tube to rear swing arm will be completely laser straight. That's really important because you're going to be going over 100 miles on this thing and you don't want to be crab walking or getting the shakes. This is going to be a jig that is more for long term. I'm going to make it so it's collapsible so I can unbolt everything and put it away when it's done. I'm going to make it so it's adjustable so I can use it for different style frames as well. This is going to be made from a 3 by 2 box tubing with bolted plates across it that you can move around. from a 07 R1 ish. I bought them on eBay. There's a couple little blemishes there. Um, but there's actually a lot of work that's already gone into this and I'll show you some B-roll over the top of this. This steering stem, like I was showing you earlier, has been modified. The steering stem inside has been modified to take a one inch style bearing. The R1 does not use one inch bearings. So what you have to do is press out the steer stem, lay down a new one to fit and press it back in and then put everything in. I've actually cleaned all this top tree as well to take the ignition kit off, weld that up, clean it some more. But this is actually ready to go on the jig. And the whole fork won't, but now I know my offset, now I know how far of a drop I have considering the head tube, and I can lay everything in place where I need to go. Now one of the critical components you're gonna have on a frame is a head tube. This head tube is a one inch head tube from a Harley. I bought a bunch of these in bulk and I need to use them up. I'm going to be using the one inch Timmican style bearings and adapting an inverted style front end to fit on this. But as for this head tube, it has to be placed at the perfect angle to achieve a certain amount of rake and trail. Um, so this makes it a really nice because this is all adjustable. You tighten this, loosen this, you can put it wherever you want. And then to center it up, I've made these conical cone washers. Stick that bad boy on there. And when you tighten it up, these little cones cinch it down and make it perfectly straight along with the line. As for the other part of 
parts of the frame jig and making them the mounts for the rear wheel, the swing arm pivot, and some of the tubes and stuff. I haven't figured that out yet, so I'm gonna make those as we go. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this project. All right, well that was a lot of work and there's still a lot of work left to do in this shot. But I'm gonna call this video. Uh, I'm gonna give you some sneak peeks up on the drivetrain, motor, inverter, battery, all the goodies on these electric vehicles. So if you wanna follow along, please subscribe, ring the bell. Let's tickle that algorithm. Give me a like and comment down below. Let me know what you do with your metal scraps. I mean, it seems so wasteful just to throw away that whole entire thing, but I mean, I needed that piece. Yeah, I don't know. Have a good one. Alright, all chrome. Chrome don't bring you home.